All right, today uh, Mr. Wu is going to be discussing the Leica R8, and this is part one of his complete coverage of the R8. Hi, hey, Mr. Wu. Morning. Morning. It looks like the crowd is uh, getting bigger and bigger, and they're just so excited to hear your upcoming videos. And in, in this uh, discussion today, what do you got for us? Oh, I brought my Leica R8. Oh, wow. Film camera, single lens reflex. So what's the history behind this? I don't think very many people know. Okay, most people would know Daika was well known for their rangefinder cameras. Then, around the 70s, the world was turning away from the rangefinders and moving into the SLR cameras, the single lens reflex. So Leica at one time were considering, should we drop the M system and just do the single lens reflex? So they also have their early attempt with the SRR. Their first one was the Leica Flex. Leica Flex, then the Leica Flex SL and the SL2. And you know that uh, the modern Leica SL, they are using the old names the SL uh, names the, on the new camera. So Leica's early attempt on the SLR, like uh, what they were used to do, they, they want to make it very well made, but sometimes they were over-engineered and uh, some model nearly bankrupt the whole company. The Leica SL, they, they thought of uh, selling the body chip, hoping that uh, the buyer will add a few more lenses, then they can uh, recover there. But that, that uh, exercise nearly bankrupt the company. Then later on, they team up with Minota to come up with some other SRR. They have the R3, R4, R5, R7, all using the Minota chassis. Then they came back to their own again when they came back the big the R8 it was a new development 100% made in Germany and their development time was very short as compared to maybe like Nikon F4 Nikon F5 they took a long time to develop it but in a very short span of time the engineers in uh, Soames came up with this R8 R8 feature to feature is like a Nikon F5 minus the autofocus. So the, the flat top, they don't have the bulge of the print, panther prism sticking out. Now, when Leica came up with some things, you either like it or you don't like it, and people start to call names of this. Then this camera has been nicknamed the Hunchback of Soames, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> They call it the Hunchback of Soames. But whatever it is, my idea is that Leica have never been known to make any bad products. They make good products, but not all of them sell well. They come up with good lenses, like they had the R3570 f2.8. Came out a little bit late, uh, short zoom ratio, 2.8 constant. And the price, at the kind of price, not many buyers. But like all Leica products, when the moment Leica announced the product to be discontinued, the prices go skyrocket and people search all over the world for the lens. So when Leica thinks, when Leica stops something because of low sales or whatever, the price will go skyrocket. But uh, many people ask me, you know, this lens, how good is this? This lens, how good it is? My, my, my usual reply is that, Leica has not been known to make bad lenses. They don't know how to make bad products. All the products was good at that time with the technology and material. But as time moves on, they find better and better ways of doing it. So generally, the newer products uh, uh, work better. But it does not mean the old one did, uh, doesn't work at all. So if you have an old Leica product, still in good condition, it will still produce excellent results. Now, I was with this Schmidt company who has been the Leica distributor in the Far East region. We covered Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, 
and the whole of Southeast Asia. So at one point, uh, we formed a joint venture company with the Leica company. So I was sent there in 1997 to, do the, to attend the Leica training. The first round they did is, they were just like uh, repeating whatever they put in their brochure. So we, we stopped the training and said, hey, hey, hold your horses. We want to know what makes Leica Leica. How is it different from the rest? So they changed the whole uh, training and then they go into detail. And so slowly we begin to understand what, wh why they do certain things certain ways and why certain things are expensive. So to uh, uninformed, the first thing that they notice with Leica is the price tag, very high. If they have the chance to visit the factory and after they see how the camera is made, they will change their opinion and say, you sell it too cheap. So Leica is make quality. Quality is the first priority for the designers and for their technicians to make the product. They were asked to make it to their best. No budget given to them. The price is a byproduct. So that's what Leica is. So during that time, one group of Leica enthusiasts, there were also happened to be Porsche owner. They went to visit the Porsche factory in their Porsche. They drove there. Then also they drove along and they stopped by the Leica factory. And what they did is they jack up one of the Porsche car and they put the camera on the ground and they lowered the tire on it and I saw it in the magazine. So I was thinking, I am sure much lighter than the Porsche. I'm sure I can stand on the camera. So the 